and to actually see it hands-on as we go through what needs to be done and what's required. Um, a lot of what's on the list is what EPD will require as we move forward with the landfill expansion going that direction. And also, it's required for compliance purposes, so something to start thinking about budget-wise and I put these in order of priority. Do we have dollar amounts on any of them yet? No, we do not have yet. We can get that for you, certainly. That would help yeah, during budget time a lot. Yeah. And a lot of this um, is something that I have trust in public works if they have the time. I believe they can do it as well. To save money as anywhere we can, I'd like to use public works. Okay. Well, even though we have, we don't have to budget public works. Okay. There's a cost to buy. Okay. Sure. Sure. Um, well, what's best? We can yeah, we could just here. go down. You want to just, just walk down? I told them all. Okay, they all have boots. <laughs> Except Carl. municipal solid waste landfill. And that is, we're waiting for official closure from EPD on that to start our post-closure thing. And that, what that means is once you get your closure certificate from EPD, it's monitored for 30 years. So there's 30 years of monitoring. We don't have it yet. Okay. <clears throat> this is the construction, demolition, and industrial waste landfill. Just to give you an idea, there's five cells from west to east. Oh, I'm sorry, other way around. East to west. Um, <clears throat> this is cell one. And the posts are marked. You can see a number one inside that post, and one inside that post. Each cell is about 100 feet wide. And then there's five cells all the way down. See how long are they going to that I'm sorry. How long are they? They're 800 feet in length. Mm -hmm. 100 by 800. Okay. When all said and done, this will stand about 40 feet plus tall. Right now, we're doing the first lift. We're in the first lift of cell one, um, which is done. We're in the second lift of cell, uh, first lift in cell two right now. And as you can see, we've almost reached capacity right there for that first lift. So, Steve, how high for this one have a count? Four or five lifts. This is going to contain about four to five lifts tall to get to that 40 feet. So about 10 foot of lift. Right. Thereabouts. And how a landfill is designed is you do one lift at a time. So think of it as a typewriter. We come up this way, and then we work that way, that way, that way, that way, and then we start over again. So we go this direction and back. But your final lift is reduced to what? 75 feet? It's a lot smaller, yeah. yes. Because yeah. it's got to account for slope yeah. and, and what, what the slope do you have to keep on? This one, I believe the design is 3 to 1 or okay. 2 to 1. Okay. So we think of rise over run. It's about one foot for every two foot. Steve, based on what you're currently doing, rate wise, how long will it take to afford the GP time? Right now, how we've estimated it, we, we use Jordan surveying the town as our engineer to save the county some money. Right now, we've got a life expectancy of about 18 to 20 years left. In those five uh, cells? To get, yep, the five cells all the way up to.